Well, here's the latest update on the expected winter weather across much of the area. It seems like the never-ending winter. I'm starting to think I live in Hoth and Star Wars rather than um, in Wyoming at this point. Let's take a look at our watches, warnings, and advisories. One change we did make from yesterday, Eastern Sweetwater County has been added to the advisory. And also down here across this area, nothing here right now, but model runs are trending a little bit further north with a secondary system coming in on Sunday. So we may need an advisory down here. I'll wait one more model run before tr pulling the trigger on that, but don't be surprised if there's something down here this afternoon. Some of those winter storm warnings in effect across the northern and western portions, but the worst of the storm out here is over. We're not going to see two to three feet of snow like fell in portions of the Tetons yesterday. Any anyway, winter weather advisory is still across central portions, Riverton, Lander, Pinedale, also down here toward Jeffrey City. Now, the areas up in here, this is mainly for impacts. I'll talk about that starting right now, actually. Now, that cold air coming in, usually you get some pretty good winds as the cold front passes through. In the most favorite area, the Bighorn Basin, that's why you see these stronger wind gusts here, maybe 25 to 40 miles per hour. With that dry, powdery snow blowing around a lot, you might not get a ton of snow up in here, but it's going to make driving very difficult. That's why we have those warnings out here. Other areas, not quite as strong winds, but it could be gusts to 30, 35 anywhere if things set up right. So any kind of snow will blow and drift around. and make driving conditions not very good, and that's why we have the highlights out, obviously. Now, the other thing I talked about, the cold air dropping in here. Now, a little change from yesterday is it uh, looks like some of the areas in the central portions of the state, the clouds might be clearing out a little bit earlier than we thought, so temperatures could really crater in this area. You can see minus 27 at Riverton, minus 27 at Big Piney. Some of these areas probably will be in the deeper valleys down to about minus 30, but just about everybody below about minus 10 to minus 20s will be very, very common across the area. As we head toward Tuesday morning as well, not much change there. It could warm up a little bit across the eastern areas here. Maybe a little bit of wind mixing the things up a little bit. But again, most areas at least probably 20 below zero. Some places getting down to minus 30. But that thing should begin to moderate as we head toward Tuesday into the Wednesday time frame. Now as we head toward, uh, show you how much snow is going to fall. Again, we're focus on the impacts, not the snowfall. Now it's dry powdery snow. It's going to blow around a lot. It'll make it very difficult to measure it. But... As far as how much snow, we'll start with the probabilistic stuff first. Expect at least this much more. Now, this starts when you wake up about 5 or 6 o'clock and goes through the end of the storm, although most of it should be over before this time, maybe around, say, uh, Sunday evening, for example. Lower elevations east of the divide, I'd say probably at least another 1 to 3 inches, depending upon where you are. South side of Casper could get a little bit more. Across the west, at least another 1 to 2 inches in the, the uh, Jackson Valley, maybe up to 4 in the uh, Star Valley. Higher elevations of the mountains can pick up another six to seven inches. And at least one to two inches falling here across Sweetwater County. A lot of this falling probably tonight into Sunday, though. And if things set up right, the high end amounts, lower elevations east of the divide, anywhere from two to five inches, just find your spot on this map, try to figure out how much you're going to get. South side of Casper, again, could pick up a little bit more, but that would be the south side. North side, not as much. About maybe as much as four inches across the I-80 corridor. Maybe up to another additional... 15, 16 is in the higher elevations of the uh, Salt Wyoming range, maybe up to another foot across the Tetons. And the western valleys, anywhere from about three to six inches, maybe a little bit more around the Alpine area. And the official forecast, our most likely guess as to what's going to happen, about another two to four inches across most of the area uh, east of the divide, maybe a little bit more up here across, less across Cody and uh, Powell, where it might end a little bit earlier. About two to four across much of the I 25 corridor. About two to four inches across the I-80 corridor, Sweetwater County into uh, southern Lincoln County. About two to four across, additional across the western valleys, maybe up locally up to a foot in the mountains. General rule of thumb, less up here. The heaviest snow probably translating more to the south and east as we go through the day today. These are worst resources. You want weather, you know where to go, weather.gov slash RIW. Road conditions, this is where we get them. Don't call us for road conditions. Go right to these spots. Well, I wrote that info on the web. You want to call them on the phone if you're in Wyoming, 511 out of state, 1 888 Wild Road. Now, if you want to take a look at those webcams for yourself, it's a great resource for this. Just go to our uh, local programs tab on our homepage and click on webcams by route. Be safe, everybody, and enjoy your weekend.